Good morning. This is sixth grade, session four. This is a, a beautiful but um, challenging chapter. I think there's going to be some new things for a lot of people on this, uh, but it, it will be re very rewarding if you, you enter in and take some time. So read this, and then you can answer questions at the end. From the reading, you'll find all the answers in the reading. Just write down those things. And then answer a reflection question on silence. Silence is something that a lot of people are not used to, especially in our noisy world, um, as it is now. Uh, and silence is not just physical silence, but mental silence as well, quieting our thoughts uh, to really focus on our Lord. Uh, in this case, looking at what we'll be doing this chapter. Okay, using that silence uh, in prayer is essential. Uh, when we're young, we learn, you know, the Our Father, the Hail Mary, the Glory Be, these vocal prayers. But you guys are now old enough to really start diving into the mental prayer. And there's a type of mental prayer called Lectio Divina, or Divine Reading. And there are four parts to it, using the Bible. So you read a, a small part of the Bible, each of these four steps, just follow through. You can write down from this video in your book the different parts. So... Lectio is reading. You prayerfully read a small part of the Bible, like a part of a psalm. You want to keep it short, and this helps you to have something to pray with. You have, this is the content of your prayer. Then meditation, we ponder, we reflect. Uh, reflect on God's Word that we just read, the same part we read, now we go and reflect on it, and think about two things. How does it apply to the world in general, and how about to yourself specifically? Just think about that. Ask God to guide your thoughts. If you're distracted, go back to the reading, read the same part you just read again. And this will help give some insight into the reading and something to talk to God about, which is the next step, oratio, which means to speak. In this, we talk to God about our meditation and ask what things he wants us to do in our day. And this is an important thing to be specific there should be something specific that comes out of this. Not just saying, I'm going to be a more nice person, but a specific way to be kind uh, would be an example. And this will help us to be open to God's goal for us in the day. And the last step, contemplatio, or to contemplate, is just to rest in God, to simply be. We are human beings, not human doings. So just taking that time to rest in God, just to be still with him and allow him to do his work in us. Don't overthink that step. Just be silent and rest in God. This will allow God to do his work in us. So, picking as like Psalm 23, pick a, a part of that, or it's a shorter psalm. You could do all of it, but keep it short. Some psalms are too long for you, especially when you're getting started uh, to pray lecture like with. Keep it very short. Okay? And uh, then we'll be doing a Bible scavenger hunt. Just look through... Uh, these different abbreviations and find the Bible book they go with. Answer these, uh, these questions as well. Uh, find the missing words from, from that chapter to write down in the, the blank spots for all of those. And then you can find out who's talking in these passages. So this will help you to find different parts of the Bible, uh, what's going on in different parts, help you to know your way around God's Word, uh, which is very important for becoming familiar with Jesus himself. Uh, St. Jerome says, he who is ignorant of scriptures is ignorant of Christ. So we come to know Christ through the Bible uh, in a large part. So uh, that will be uh, this, that for this week. Uh, if you have any questions about the Lectio Divina, uh, I'd be glad to help or anything else. And God bless you with a beautiful week.